Well, more than a year ago, Tippecanoe County Commissioners went back to the drawing board in an effort to draft an ordinance allowing off-road vehicles on public roads. News 18's Kelly Roberts finds out if there is still an ordinance in the works. In Tippecanoe County itself, it can't be on the roadway. So you got to stay in the right of way, and then once you hit the right of way, it has to be registered. That's the rule in Tippecanoe County following Indiana law banning ATVs on public roads. However, more than a year ago, Tippecanoe County commissioners tried to change that by introducing an ordinance allowing ATVs and golf carts on public roads. It was tabled in April 2014 when commissioners said there was more feedback against than for the ordinance. I think basically it may have just died with, uh, with a lack of interest. We really didn't have any additional feedback after that. Commissioner Tracy Brown was sheriff when the ordinance was introduced and sat on a committee responsible for writing the ordinance. The main complaint last spring by people in favor of an ATV ordinance was it was too restrictive. It said after three violations, a driver would be banned from driving an ATV for life and get a $1,000 fine. I just think it's important that, uh, that we take a strong look at this and make a determination whether or not it truly fits our community. We do have some counties, and there's, uh, there's a couple of them. I think Fountain County is one of them. Um, Carroll County might be another one. I still have, I had as sheriff and I have as county commissioner some concerns about that mix. Uh, being the fact that uh, you know we're a, we're a more urban area and just the potential danger that that creates. The idea of an ATV ordinance is not dead in commissioners' minds. They just need more feedback on the issue. And quite frankly, I haven't heard anything about this in the last in the last 12 months. So it, certainly if there are folks out there that have concerns, uh, have an interest in the ordinance or have an interest in us not having an ordinance, it's always good to uh, to, to get input on that. Indiana law also says any ATV bought after 2003 needs to be registered and the driver must have a valid driver's license. Anyone under 14 years old must have adult supervision. Kelly Roberts, News 18.